Here's the most fascinating part of our mental health. It's not just determined by our brain. It's influenced by the gut. The gut produces over 90% of the body's serotonin, the neurotransmitter responsible for mood regulation. The gut-brain connection is so profound that doctors are starting to treat mental health disorders by focusing on the gut. Individuals who consume diets high in ultra-processed foods were 33% more likely to develop depression than those who ate a diet rich in whole foods. What's worst is the impact of these foods on children. Children who consume diets high in ultra-processed foods were more likely to struggle with behavioral issues. This isn't just about preventing disease. Optimizing gut health can actually enhance your mood, your mental clarity, even your emotional resilience. So let's get into the actionable steps that you can take to improve both your gut health and your mental health. Number one. Welcome back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. I'm Gary Brecka, and today's episode is incredibly important. October 10th is World Mental Health Day, a day recognized around the world to bring awareness to mental health and its profound impact on every aspect of our lives. From our physical health to our longevity and even our performance, our mental well-being is central to it all. Today, we're going to dive into an important conversation about mental health, specifically how it relates to gut health, the foods we eat, and the ultra-processed food impact on mental well-being of both children and adults. Before we begin, it's crucial to understand that our mental health is inseparably linked to our overall health. It's not just about what we feel emotionally. It's about how our mind and our body are connected and how this connection impacts our daily performance. World Mental Health Day was established in 1992 by the World Federation for Mental Health and has grown into a global movement for raising awareness about mental health issues, removing the stigma, and advocating for better mental health care worldwide. The statistics are staggering. According to the World Health Organization, nearly 1 billion people live with a mental health disorder, and globally, depression is the leading cause of disability. This isn't just an issue for individuals. It's a societal problem affecting families, communities, and our economies. But why is mental health so vital? Mental health influences every part of our life. When we experience stress, anxiety, depression, our physical bodies react. Chronic stress leads to the release of cortisol, which can cause inflammation. It impairs our immune system, and it can even lead to cardiovascular issues. Furthermore, research shows that poor mental health is directly associated with a shorter life expectancy. A 2022 meta-analysis published in The Lancet Psychiatrist concluded that individuals with serious mental illness have a reduced life expectancy of 10 to 20 years compared to the general population. But here's the most fascinating part of our mental health. It's not just determined by our brain. It's influenced by the gut and what we eat and by the intricate relationship between our microbiome and our brain. The human gut is sometimes even referred to as our second brain because the millions of neurons that reside there, forming what's called the enteric nervous system. The gut produces over 90% of the body's serotonin, the neurotransmitter responsible for mood regulation. This gut-brain access is the two-way communication system that allows our gut and our brain to interact. Recent research from Frontiers in Psychiatry even showed that disruptions in this communication, particularly through changes in the gut microbiome, can have serious consequences on our mental health. The gut is home to trillions of microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, and even fungi, and together they form this beautiful gut microbiome. These microorganisms are responsible for more than just digestion. They produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, and these influence how we feel emotionally. A healthy, diverse microbiome means more production of these critical neurotransmitters, which translates into better mental health. So when this balance is disrupted, it leads to inflammation, which can affect our brains. A growing body of research, including a 2024 study published in Nature Communications, shows a direct link between gut dysbiosis, an imbalance in the gut microbiota, and mental disorders, such as depression and anxiety. This gut-brain access also explains why gastrointestinal disorders like irritable bowel syndrome are often diagnosed with anxiety or depression. I've personally seen this in my everyday dealing with clients. A disrupted gut creates a cascade of chemical changes that influence mood, cognition, and behavior. The gut-brain connection is so profound that doctors are starting to treat mental health disorders by focusing on the gut. For instance, researchers at Loma Linda University have found that people with healthier gut microbiomes have a stronger resilience to stress, lower incidences of depression. This isn't just about preventing disease. 
optimizing gut health can actually enhance your mood, your mental clarity, even your emotional resilience. This raises the question, what causes gut dysbiosis? The answer often is diet. Diets rich in ultra-processed foods not only reduce the diversity of the gut microbiome, but they also promote the growth of harmful bacteria that trigger inflammation, both in the gut and in our brains. Hey guys, it's me, Gary Brecka, and I'm excited to announce the free three-day Ultimate Gut Reset Challenge. You guys asked and I listened, which is why I created the three-day program designed to reset and rebuild your gut health. We kick off on October 28th, and over those three days, we'll eliminate gut irritants, introduce healing foods, and nourish your gut with expert guidance. If you've been struggling with low energy, bloating, or brain fog, this is your chance to make a change. Head to gut.theultimatehuman.com to sign up, and let's take your gut and your health to the next level. And that's just science. Now let's get back to the Ultimate Human podcast. Now let's talk about ultra-processed foods. These are foods that have been heavily modified from their natural state, containing high levels of sugar, unhealthy fats, additives, preservatives, artificial ingredients. Think about chips, sodas, frozen dinners, and most packaged snacks. Research is increasingly showing that these foods not only damage our physical health, leading to conditions like obesity and diabetes, but they also have a profound effect on our mental well-being. A 2023 study published in JAMA Psychiatry found that individuals who consumed diets high in ultra-processed foods were 33% more likely to develop depression than those who ate a diet rich in whole foods. Another study from Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health revealed that ultra-processed foods increase inflammation in the body, which in turn affects our brain function and our mental health. What's worst is the impact of these foods on children. According to a 2021 published study in The Guardian, children who consume diets high in ultra-processed foods were more likely to struggle with anxiety, ADHD, and behavioral issues. This is partly because their brains are still developing and are particularly sensitive to inflammatory effects of sugar, preservatives, and all of these additives. Ultra-processed foods disrupt the gut microbiome by feeding harmful bacteria and reducing the diversity of beneficial bacteria. As I mentioned earlier, this disruption can lead to the reduction of pro-inflammatory chemicals that cross the blood-brain barrier and contribute to neural inflammation. The result? Cognitive impairment mood disorders, and even an increased risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. This is where we need to make a major shift. Starting with our children, by focusing on whole unprocessed foods, we can create a foundation for not only good physical health, but also robust mental well-being. So what's the solution? The answer lies in what we put into our bodies. A whole food diet rich in vegetables, fruits, healthy fats, and fermented foods is one of the most powerful ways to support both gut health and mental health. Whole foods provide the nutrients and fiber that our gut bacteria need to thrive. In contrast to ultra-processed foods, which feed harmful bacteria and promote inflammation, whole foods help maintain a diverse, healthy gut microbiome, which in turn supports our brain health. The fiber found in whole plant foods acts as prebiotics, these are the food for the good bacteria in our gut. A 2024 study published in Gut Microbes found that individuals who consumed a diet high in fiber and fermented foods had lower rates of depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. Fermented foods like sauerkraut and kimchi, which are some of my favorites, and kefir are rich in probiotics, which introduce beneficial bacteria directly into your gut. Research shows that regular consumption of fermented foods can improve mental health outcomes by reducing inflammation and increasing the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin. And it doesn't stop there. Omega-3 fatty acids found in wild-caught fish like salmon, another critical component of mental and brain health. Omega-3s help reduce inflammation in the brain and several studies, including one from Frontiers in Neurology, have shown that a diet rich in omega-3s can improve mood and cognitive function while also reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. And it doesn't stop there. Omega-3 fatty acids found in wild-caught fish like salmon are another critical component of mental and brain health. Omega-3s help reduce inflammation in the brain, and several studies, including one from the Frontiers in Neurology, have shown that a diet rich in omega-3s can improve mood and cognitive function 
while reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. So let's get into the actionable steps that you can take to improve both your gut health and your mental health. Number one, let's eliminate processed foods. Start by cutting out foods that contain preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and seed oils. Replace these with nutrient-dense whole foods. Secondly, we can incorporate fermented foods. Add fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, or kefir to your diet to introduce probiotics that support a healthy gut microbiome. The third thing we can do is focus on fiber. Fiber-rich foods like vegetables, fruits, and legumes act as prebiotics, and these feed bacteria in your gut and reduce inflammation. The fourth thing we can do is prioritize omega-3 fatty acids. If you're not getting enough omega-3s from your diet, consider supplementing with fish oil. Omega-3s are crucial for reducing brain inflammation and supporting mental clarity. The fifth thing we can do is practice grounding and breath work, one of my favorites. These are my go-to practices for reducing stress and improving mental resilience. Grounding or earthing helps balance the body's electrical charge while breath work can help mental clarity and reduce your anxiety. The sixth thing we could do is get enough sleep. Sleep is our human superpower. It's essential for both gut and brain health. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality, uninterrupted sleep each night. So to wrap up, mental health is not just an isolated issue. It's connected to every part of our lives, including our diet and our gut health. So let's commit to making real tangible changes in how we eat, how we move, and how we take care of our mental and physical health, eliminating ultra-processed foods and focusing on whole, natural, nutrient-dense foods can have a profound impact on how we feel mentally and physically. Remember, the power to transform your health is in your hands. I hope today's episode gave you the insight and actionable steps you need to improve both your mental and physical well-being. And as always, thank you for tuning in to the Ultimate Human Podcast. And until next time, that's just science.